you know, I gotta give the guys were awesome, you know, they, they to do that in, in this setting and, and win two games against two quality teams to stave off elimination and give us another chance for tomorrow is, is pretty special. So, you know, Tyler stepped up big time, you know, going five innings. JD had some huge hits. Um, I'm excited for them and it should be a should be a really fun environment tomorrow night. We'll look now for questions. Mike, go ahead. Uh, Tyler, you've been playing on this field for like a third of your life or something. Uh, what did it mean to come out with a crowd like that and pitch the way you did uh, in front of your hometown fans tonight? Well, it's amazing being my first start in college in general, plus going through the injury and everything. It's kind of an emotional day, but <clears throat> glad we all got the win. How were you able to have success tonight? Uh, I got ahead of a lot of batters. <clears throat> And I was able to use the changeup. I'm sure they haven't seen much of that being in their conference. Hard throwers and sliders and stuff like that. So changeups probably got them. Jared, what about the, uh, the swing of emotions over the 24 hours? Um, I don't feel any emotion swings. I think the team is right where we need to be. We want it bad enough, and we showed it today that we beat two quality teams that we wanted it bad enough. Hey, Jaren, you've been swinging as sweet as ever uh, this last week in the regional. I mean, what's anything different? What's what's new? What's what's going on with you? Um, I just think that our pitching staff being able to keep people from scoring runs and giving our batters able to like, you know, get score early and score often instead of like having to fight back from a lead that our pitchers give up. But they're pitching their best right now, which gives us hitters like good breath. Uh, Tyler, you know, you talked about it being an emotional day. You were getting applause before you even took the mound coming out of the bullpen there. How were you able to keep your emotions in check? Well, at this point in our season, it's more than just about my scenario. It's about getting the win and getting some of the innings in, so I don't have to leave the bullpen with a lot. So, like, we, this would be our second game of the day, so we have to use a couple of guys. Did you rely on your familiarity with this place and just kind of the environment? Yeah, I've definitely recalled some bigger games, so felt a little better. Buck, what did you kind of expect out of Tyler tonight? Well, we knew he's been up and down five to six times, so we really wanted to throw him Saturday. We wanted to have Smith against Fullerton last Saturday throw like three innings, and then I wanted Tyler to go five or six innings in that environment to be able to get up and down because we knew that if we fell into the loser's bracket, he was going to be another starter for us. The game didn't allow us to do that. Smith went deep. And so that next day, we did five up and downs, I think, out here in a sim situation. So I, we knew what he was capable of from a, a, a bullet standpoint, from, from going up, sitting up, pitch the standpoint. And I thought it was a really good matchup with the changeup, to be honest with you. I mean, his changeup is the separator. It allows him to take stress off the fastball command. And I thought he had really good life. I thought the ball came out nice and small. I thought there was really good life on the ball. And um, he really he really pitched. You know, he really pitched. I, I, for what he's been through, to go through two ACL surgeries, he was not even a factor, really, just medically to be able to pitch this year because if it's it's his land leg. So for him, man, any shot we had to get him on the roster, even if he was going to be able to pitch in March or April, we were doing it because I have that much trust in him. Um, he, he, he's, he's a special kid, been through a lot of stuff. Look, uh, what are you willing to share about uh, plans for pitching? Well, if you want to meet us in the clubhouse and <laughs> grab some dinner and uh, whatever, we're not supposed to eat this late, they tell me. But that, that, that doesn't Extenuating seem to... circumstances. Yes, I, I don't know. I, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll circle the wagons. Um, like I said after the first game, we owe it to making sure our guys are healthy presently and in the future. But at the same time, um, you know, we'll just kind of kind of evaluate where we're at. I, I do 
I do love the fact that they're strong and their ability with their, you know, prehab stuff and their recovery stuff, they, they are in pretty good place. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll have enough tomorrow. We'll have enough. And the adrenaline, if they don't, we'll certainly get them through quite a bit. <laughs> you get into these situations and, and everybody wants to throw. Everybody wants to be in there. There's no question. Smitty is going to come up. He did tonight. He goes, I'll be ready to go tomorrow. And I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. And again, this is this is the this is our decision with their input, and it's a collective, collaborative decision to make sure that you know we we take care of our guys, but at the same time, give us a chance to win. And this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for a lot of these kids.